all of these laws, we still have evidence of increase in production of drugs, evidence of increase in trafficking of drugs, and even evidence of increase in consumption of drugs. Not just the normal drugs, but also new drugs. For example, in the country where I come from, Sierra Leone, we got to a point where they moved away from cocaine, cannabis, and they were boiling baby diapers to drink as a drug. There are certain situations where they use the hosting. So the boys and the girls or drug users invent new ways or traffickers invent new drugs to get to the users. So the questions we've asked ourselves, are these laws effective enough to control drugs? That's the question we've asked ourselves. So there are a lot of researches that have proven that these laws in themselves are inadequate to address drug-related issues, drug production, trafficking, and consumption. It's time for us to think about which part of the drug trade, the supply chain is more dangerous. Which one do we want to address? Do we want to address the production? Do we want to address the trafficking or the consumption? But the laws that we have punish drug users more than traffickers and producers of drugs. So we have not done the research, but I believe if you go to the prisons, you have more of drug users in prison than you have traffickers in prison.